Hey guys, welcome back to Atelier Sophie. This is Caffeine Gaming. And last time, well, we've been unlocking growth recipes now that we've moved on. So we got the monochrome glasses. We got a few more things that we want to get. The refuel bottle here. We need to go to the forgotten nursery and the practice cauldron. We have to obtain a practice cauldron, which, well, we'll be doing that. But first, hmm, uh, I actually want to me? make some stuff here. And I'm going to start with an ingot because we're going to need some more. So let me just uh, make one of those. What just use trash things? items when you make items like this because really it doesn't affect it because if you look at the right, there are no bars. So I'm just going to use some low level stuff that I really don't care about. Okay, and the next thing I'm actually going to make is going to be the monochrome glasses. We're going to want some of these. These are actually pretty good items. Um... I don't think it really talks too much about it yet. It's an accessory. What yeah. materials <laughs> okay. should I use? So to start with, you have to use some crystal shards to do this. Now, our crystal shards that we have are all pretty basic with nothing really interesting going on with them. And then two pieces of metal. I'm going to use... I don't know. I'm just going to use the ingots, the low level ingots. That works. Um, and then you've got a medicine material. Um... Okay, so we don't really have anything of interest here, so I'm just gonna choose, here we go, this has got HP enhanced, that works. And then we need to choose a poison material as well. Now the only ones that we have are the fairy poison grass, and it doesn't look like we have anything really of interest here, so I'm just gonna select, Is this yeah, sure, really this one okay, works. Okay, then? So let me drop start. some items here. Now on the bottom right here, you can see a couple things. There's blue, there's uh, for the crystal shards, there's red for the ingots, and then there's green for the use opportunity S. Um, we'll talk about those in a minute, but let me just plop these down. I at least want to get the damage cut S to the next level. Uh, the other ones would be great if I can. Is this really okay? Okay, there we go. So I managed to get it to damage cut M. I don't think I can get the other ones up right now. Um, I've done this a few times, and if I recall correctly, okay. I can't, so... It takes 12 hours done. to make the what monochrome glasses, and we're gonna get the oh, HP yeah. enhance here. It's all done. And we've unlocked that, so that's really nice. So let's take a quick look at that, and uh, we can equip it to anybody, really, but we've got a few things here. So the damage cut M uh, reduces damage by 6%, that's actually really nice. And then the use opportunity S increases damage dealt to broken enemies by a slight amount. Very nice. Additionally, uh, now these ones increase our HP. I'm going to give that to Monica to start with and uh, we'll, we'll move on later, but that's okay. And let's get some sleep before we, well, we got tomorrow and something special is going to happen tomorrow. All right, today's prayer day. I should go. Yep, so today is prayer day. We should probably go do that. But before we can, uh, we actually have to go take care of something else. I'm gonna start by going to the street here because Monica is not at the church where she should, where she should be. Uh, he did it again. I take my eyes off him for a minute and he always does this. He's really fast at running away for someone who's so heavy and out of shape. What's wrong? Oscar was supposed to come back and look after the store, but he left early and hasn't come back. What? But he promised he'd start doing his work properly the other day. Seems like I'll have to give him a good scolding next time I see him. Sophie, Monica, can I ask something of you? You want us to search for Oscar? Don't worry, Miss Marguerite. We'll find him. Good at guessing, as I'd expect. Ugh, if only my lazy son was this dependable. Sophie, you should help too. We need to set Oscar straight. Yeah, this is for Oscar's own good. I'm sorry I need to ask, but I'm counting on you. Just leave it to us. Sophie, I'll search the area south of the church. You search the north side. Okay, I got it. So, I wonder where Oscar went. Probably somewhere with plants. He's always going to places like that in his spare time. Yeah, he even went outside of town before. Wait, could he have gone outside again? That's possible. Let's search inside the town first. If we don't find him, we'll have to consider other options. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll go now. Yes, let's find him. Okay, well, I actually know where he is, but let's take care of some stuff here at the street before we move on. And I'm gonna start by talking to Cory here. <sighs> What's wrong, Cory? You're pretty much the only one who shops at my store. Thank you very much. 
Wait, really? No one else is buying stuff from you? Yes, that's right. Hardly anyone buys anything. But it's so convenient. It seems my store is only suited for a narrow range of people. The main problem is that normal customers don't need items they have art they already have duplicated. Oh, right. It's convenient because I'm an alchemist. I need lots of materials to make the same item over and over. Yes. Most customers want to buy new things, items they don't already have. But maybe people like craftsmen would want to come here? They use lots of the same materials, too. That's true. Besides you, most of the people who come here are that type of person. Although, there aren't many of them. Then maybe you can find work from Meister Horst. There's lots of requests for items. That's a problem, too. I need to have one of an item before I can use my power to duplicate it. Hmm, I see. I guess I just need to work harder every day so word of mouth spreads better. It's tough running a store. Okay, well that's good. Actually, we're, we wanted to have that happen anyway. But actually, what I wanted to check here is yes. So the practice cauldron here is for sale for 500 and it starts out with a few things. It's for practice as display level one and as panel five by five. We're gonna go ahead and just purchase that. Thank you. And uh, we should now unlock Well, the practice cauldron. <laughs> yes, we unlocked the practice cauldron from the practice cauldron. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Tess while we're in here. Hello. Oh, welcome, Sophie. You've got a great smile today as usual. <laughs> really? Yeah, but... Well, what is it? Well, you're always wearing similar looking clothes. You've got such a cute face, you should wear something more stylish. You you think so? But you're always wearing the same thing too, Tess. I'm wearing the shop's uniform. Oh, right. By the way, are the bunny ears part of the uniform? No, this is my own original edition. The Meister allowed it too. Huh? Is Meister Horse really into bunny ears or something? That's quite a misunderstanding. The money ears are popular with the children. That's why I allowed them. I see. First time hearing that. I thought it was because it was popular with the male customers. <laughs> we We probably shouldn't push this issue too much further. Yeah. Oh dear. Anyway, wanted to get that from Tess. And let's check Welcome. out what we've got what, what, here for rumors, nothing of interest, well, requests. Request? Um, oh, let's actually go ahead and turn this useful plants one in. Um, sure. Let's give the ones away that don't really have anything. Thank you. Get a little bit of money there. Uh, crackling ore, let's see. Ooh, we can actually finish this one here. So let's go ahead and report things suitable for me. So we need to give them some of these blue stones. Um, okay, that works. Crystals, let's go ahead and just give them some, just whatever. And pretty shells. Um, actually, I really like that one because it's bigger. All right, let's go ahead and turn this in. Thank you very much. And we get one rainbow crystal for finishing that up. And five vouchers. Now that means we, can we finish this? No, we actually can't finish uh, Tess's, which is fine. Um, Shining Pretty Crystals, let's go ahead and turn that one in as well. We're gonna be out of crystals, but I'm not too worried Thank about it there. for today. And the Rocky Mountain Survey, we can also finish this one. So let's throw just a bunch of stuff over here. Don't worry, we'll get plenty more uh, later. Uh, sure, those two work. And done. Thank you. And we get 300 coal, almost, and two vouchers for that. So that's good. We did a whole Welcome. bunch of requests there. We don't get anything for our memory on that one, but that is a-okay. So let's go find Oscar. Oscar is up in the nearby forest, the only place where there are plants. Ah, there he is. I see. So you've never seen the Eternal Blossom either. Oscar, who are you talking to? Hey, Sophie. I was just talking to this flower. Um, I've always wanted to ask, but why are you able to talk to plants? I don't really know. I've just been like this for a long time. 
It's stranger to me why everyone else can't hear the voices of plants. It doesn't matter if it's a tiny flower or a weed. They're all alive, just like us. Of course they would talk. Hmm, is that really how it works? You've always taken me seriously, since long ago. Huh? Well, I know you make up excuses to get out of things you don't like, but you don't lie. Of course, I want to live honestly, and I want others to live honestly too. Although, you forgot your prom you forget your promises a lot. Like how you aren't watching the store right now? Miss Marguerite was really mad, you know? Oh crap, I totally forgot about the store. Uh, Sophie, could you forget you saw me? Nope, I can't break my promise with Miss Marguerite. Now, let's go back to the store. Give me a break, my mom's gonna kill me. You'll be fine, you'll probably just get scolded a little harsher than normal. No! Same Oscar. Anyway, so Oscar learns this kill round body. Yeah, that's weird, right? So let's quick a quick gander at his status here. Uh, round body, recovers HP each turn and recovers MP each turn. Really nice, actually. But we have to go, we have to go to prayer. And uh, now that we found Oscar, she's here waiting for us. Monica! Sophie, so you came. Yeah, pretty impressive, right? Yes, very much so. I didn't think you'd manage to come right away. Oh, you didn't trust me? But seeing how you made it, I guess you're fine. You can come every week too, you know? I I don't think I can make it every week. I have to work at my atelier. You can spare a little time. I'll try. Yes, that's good. Okay, we're gonna start today's prayer. I don't know why I did that that, that way. <laughs> Let's go, Sophie. Yeah. All right, and Monica learned the skill Love Sweets, which is the whole reason I actually wanted to do that. Don't really care about anything else here. The Love's Sweets trait is pretty much what it sounds like. It enhances the effect of sweets items. And items can be sweet. We'll have to discuss that maybe later. Actually, do we have any sweet items? Um, no, we don't. Did I give... Like, this simple sweets here um, is not a sweets item because it is not sweet. If it's got the skill of... or if it's got the trait of sweet, then it's a sweets item. And actually, since we're here... Uh, let's go ahead and buy the is Pendecalock from her. I don't know how it's pronounced. I think that's right. And I'm gonna grab another high-class talisman from her. Hey, Alright. So we've got some stuff that we do want to do. I want to head out into the world because we've got some things to do. So let's just... Where are we going Okay, next? so here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to be heading to the Forgotten Nursery. All right, now that we are here, the first thing... Well, I guess we're going to collect this because it's in the way. But we want to examine the pond here. The scent of the pond is surprisingly pleasant. It may be thanks to the flowers and leaves that have fallen in. And with that, we unlock the refuel bottle. Fantastic. Now, while we're here, what I'm going to do is actually get a few items. But I also want to go inside here because there actually is a place we can go. We can go into the ancient kitchen. Now I have to be careful here because enemies do tend to spawn like right around the corners and I don't actually want to fight any of the puny. But then I also want to grab some stuff out of here. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, there we go. And get back out. I don't want to fight any, any monsters right now. Okay, let's grab a few more things. Um... And let's take a quick look at what we grabbed because we also grabbed these stinky fragments. Yep, those are new. Uh, we also grabbed some paper scraps, which is how you get some better paper scraps and some rainbow crystals, which we have some of. They're really good if you're looking to make items that are more um, pricey for selling. Yeah, that's how you wanna, one of the ways you can do that. I'm gonna grab this one here. All right, that's not bad. I think one more thing will probably help and we can get out of here. Very useful. I don't want to get attacked by any monsters today. 
All right, let's head back to the Atlayer. All right, so we are back home. We've unlocked the refuel bottle and we've unlocked the practice cauldron, which has also unlocked a couple things that we can now figure out. The bottle to misfortune is we need an unfortunate encounter. Uh, that's gonna be a fun one to take care of. And also craft, we need the uni bag to get the effect explodes on it, which we're gonna be working on uh, later, <laughs> not today. So next time we're gonna be making a practice cauldron along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So I hope to see you guys uh, then.